Hi everyone. Um, I have a big <laughs> box here. Um, I finally decided to purchase direct from Dolly Terria or Closet Child uh, website. I have bought from them many times before through um, Bayou.jp, a proxy service that allows you to um, gain access to several different Japanese um, websites, including Yahoo Japan, which is where I bought from Dolly Terria before, but I decided to go direct to their website and purchase directly from them. So this whole box is full of Dolly goods. Oops, excuse me. None of it is <laughs> specifically for um, Smart Doll. None of it is Smart Doll branded, I, I don't believe. I don't think so. Um, but, of course, a lot of it will end up going to my Smart Dolls. So here I have a little helper with me. Um, she's been, I've been um, taking a few pictures of her lately. I just recently got this uh, custom face up girl from um, Doll Angel. And it was around Valentine's Day and I happened to get these really adorable um, heart eyes. Can't probably see them very well here, but I just wanted to say that I was calling her Val and now I've decided to name her Valeria. So um, please welcome Valeria. She's so cute. That is um, a name that is from my family history. It's my great aunt, so my father's aunt. Um, anyway, so Valeria is here to give me a hand with opening this ginormous box, but actually I need to pause this. Oh, no, my husband's going to go. My dog's being naughty over there. All right, so let me see if I can open this box. I might have to be off screen for a second because the box actually is like twice as tall as what you see here, and it is taped like right around the middle here. It looks like they kind of put two um, boxes, or maybe even three, together and left their flaps open and then taped around it um, to get to me. So it is very secure. The shipping label is on the bottom, and I think there is the customs uh, slip inside the envelope, which I'll be saving, um, but I'm not going to open that in this video. So we'll just try to get this uh, box opened up here. Um, it does look pretty nicely taped. They used... Um, DHL to ship to me and I do believe they gave me an option I could choose between DHL or EMS um, and currently uh, DHL of course is very quick they're private shipping versus um, something like UPS uh, or the United States Postal Service or other local postal services um, so they're, they're pretty quick and reliable, and I think they do handle shipping very well. I've had a lot of stuff shipped via DHL over the last year or so, um, so I chose them. I have used EMS since it's been um, made available again to the U.S., um, but I just chose DHL because I think EMS right now, it does take a little longer, not much. Like It's like a week versus a few days with DHL. Um, but, um, they're about the same price, so it really doesn't matter. It's just a matter of timing. EMS might be a little bit less expensive, um, but I feel like when I'm having large boxes like this with, um, kind of a higher dollar amount, I just rather the shipping time be reduced as much as possible to ensure the likelihood that nothing is going to get lost or damaged, you know, because there's just less handling time being, being shipped between, you know, overseas versus um, flights and boats and all that. Um, and of course, we all keep hearing about shipping woes and, um, you know, s the supply chain being delayed and all that. All right, so it does look to me like they stacked three boxes and kind of leveled them up and taped them. So I'm going to try and see if I can just lift this out here. Okay, so there were two boxes kind of made into a tower to fit over it. And I think I can just set those aside. Kind of drop them. <laughs> All right, so then, 
as you can see with my light here, there's backs, and it's all nicely bubble wrapped. A couple of boxes here. Um, and then I think there will be stuff on the inside. So I got, um, I really kind of went crazy with Dolly Terry because I um, have been, I've been following them through Yahoo Japan for several years and I buy stuff from them here or there. Um, but I decided to just go for it and order from them direct because I asked on some of the doll groups if people had ordered from them and they all said they had great experiences. So um, I just went ahead and ordered the things that I um, had kind of been eyeballing just to kind of do one big shipment. And if I am satisfied with this, I might go back to them in the future, but this is my first time buying again direct from them. So I'm going to end up making a couple of videos too because I did get um, full set dolls and then I got the several just small pieces like clothing or props or whatever. So I'm not going to go into the dolls, but I'll just show you. I'll I'll show you um, the boxes and how they ship them. So each one is nice individually bubble wrapped. Um, it looks very secure to me. Um, this is a Dear Mine. Um, I don't remember which doll it is. I will look it up for the video that I make of um, unboxing this. It's going to be separate, like I said. Um, but um, definitely a Dear Mine box. So that's a good start. I'll just set that um, box aside. This one you'll be able to tell who it is from the outside of the box because the picture of the doll is on the outside. This has kind of been a doll that I've been like watching for a while, seeing her come up every once in a while. Um, and I, I've just been really loving the looks of her. And it's kind of going back on my word where I was getting away from Volks, um, but I decided to get a Volks um, Delphi Dream. <laughs> now I can't remember her name. I'm sure somebody will remember her. From the thing is, oh, um, Across Frontier. What is the character name? And I know her. I love her, and I can't even think of her name right now. Oh, Cheryl Gnome. It's on the side of the box. So, that is a Cheryl Gnome full set. The thing of it is, I actually have this outfit um, separate, so I'll have to end up reselling that. So if anybody wants that, hit me up. I will definitely be reselling it, but... Um, that is a Volks Cheryl Gnome. Also looks nicely boxed. We'll set that aside. And then the last one, I'm not even sure if I'm gonna be able to remember what company it is. Maybe you guys will recognize the, um, oh wait, there is a company name. I don't know if it has the doll name on here. So, um, let me just set this box down here for a second. So this is um, Granado which I have never purchased a Granado doll before. Um, it says, dream to be different, dollgranado.com. There's the front lid, if that's um, their standard uh, box design. And then you can see, I don't know if you can see that very well, but it says Granado there. Um, also nicely taped up, bubble wrapped and everything. Um, this was not a doll that I was necessarily looking for, wanting, or whatever. I just was scrolling through the hundreds and hundreds of thousands of <laughs> listings that um, Dolly Terria has, and she caught my eye, and I considered her for a couple of weeks, and when I finally decided to start making some purchases, I added her to my cart because I just really liked the looks of her. So I'm kind of excited about this because this is a new um, doll company for me. Dear Mine and Volks, I already have dolls from. So going to set this one aside and do a box opening for her um, separate as I will with those other two. And then we'll get into the um, individual pieces that I got here. Let me just set this over here. Okay. So, um, in the rest of that box, um, so they had the two bigger boxes, which was the Granado and the Volts. The Dear Mine was a little bit shorter, so they were able to kind of pack the lower box with... Um, stuff to keep those three taller boxes upright and contained safely. So there's the rest of the goodies. I think I'll just kind of dump them out and then we'll open them up. All right. So we got three nice packages here. I want to say um, the majority of it is um, clothing and it should be. Uh, I, I 
went shopping for um, my Angelophilia. Angelophilia. Um, she's 50 centimeters, and I really only have like two outfits for her, and I don't like one of them. <laughs> so, um, well, maybe I have three. I don't know. But uh, I wanted to find some clothes specifically made for that size doll, and then, of course, I still got some more one-third size clothing for my smart dolls and other um, one-third size dolls that I have, mostly for my smart dolls because they're just so darn spoiled. But let's just go ahead and take a look at this stuff. Um, each one was a nice little bundle on its own, and going through this, I'll try to remember if these were like together or separate. I think most of these items that I got were separate pieces, but some of the outfits may have had like, you know, a top and a bottom or whatever. So I'll try to remember what all came together and see how it's packaged here. So one clear envelope. Looks like I have uh, a little box, a dress, and then another outfit. These two might be um, the obitsu size, the 50 centimeter size. And then this, I think, was actually um, a little prop that I wanted to use for uh, my nendroids or nendroid, nendo dolls. Um, I don't really have many nendro, nendroid dolls. In fact, I just have one, and then I have a body for one, but. Um, I just saw this and thought it was kind of a cute prop actually for a Nendroid that I have, not necessarily an Nendroid doll. And it does say right on the bottom, um, Mike would stand seven centimeters and it's in like a little latch box. So you can see it's like one of those boxes that you just kind of pop the lid off of and then there's that Mike would stand. So let's take a look at this. And inside it's kind of like red velvet and the individual item is wrapped up in there kind of cute. Even that box could be used like for a prop, I think. That's just nice, that red velvet touch. Um, sorry if you can't hear me very well. I'm trying to be um, speaking up. And I do have um, some video stuff that I need to start using and learn the equipment for. I just haven't set it up yet. Um, and I have my washer and dryer going on in the background. Alright, so actually, this is meant to be uh, well, I thought it would be like an Android size. So you have here a little microphone and like a stand. I don't, I don't know if it'll show very well there. Um, but I think it kind of angles it down slightly. But this microphone is actually not too shabby for like a one third size. Let's see how it looks by her face. I mean, it's not bad. Not perfect, but not bad. Um, I was more intending this for an Android, so I don't know. It's just a fun little thing. I don't really use props that much, but I do want to start focusing more on some photography. After this huge purchase, I really have to take a break from purchasing. Of course, we all say that, right? And you don't know what happens. Some beautiful dog comes along. Um, so, yeah, you know, I was telling myself to not really get into purchasing for a while, but I had been following um, Dolly Terrier, and they had some items come up that I really loved. And actually, the one item that prompted me to go to their website and see if I could find more, I didn't end up getting, it ended up selling, which was a little disappointing. Um, but I'm going to try to just keep a lookout for that stuff in the future. Um, all right, so this is a cute little blue dress. I want to say this is Obitsu, a 50 centimeter size. Um, well, it could be one third size, I don't know. Um, it's pretty fluffy and it has like embroidered like pink and white and like blue flowers on the bottom. Inside is just white. It looks like um, 50 centimeter to me, but there's the a close up of the embroidery there. It's all around, and then the white, um, like petticoat or whatever, also has some embroidery going on. I think that this is meant to be. Sorry, let me move your arm out of the way again. I don't know. Maybe 
that's I mean if it was meant for one third it would like be a knee length dress um, but I, I don't remember and I don't see a tag in here I think this is definitely like somebody made this at home so it's not like a company um, outfit where there would be a tag on the inside saying who made it um, but I will go back to my the my purchases and when I make a video of when I put post this video up I'll post descriptions from Dolly Terry up for each item so if you want to go and search for it you can find yourself but as you can see this is a really nice full dress and I think it's really cute for springtime so I'm hoping this is this will fit one of my dolls nicely whether it's a bitsu or a one-third size doll or whatever so there's one item well two you count the little microphone um, this is, uh, my phone is ringing over there. I'll just have to get it later. This is another, looks like smaller outfit. Um, I think this might be a bit too for sure. So this is like kind of like a kimono wrap dress with like undergarments and a belt, like an obi belt. So here's like the top and um, it does have it's nice that it actually has on the back it has two different um, like I have to move this a little closer because I want to reach this far it, it doesn't have uh, or it has two different spots where you could latch the hooks so it's nice for different size um, if I intend this for my angel video she is completely flat chested so I don't know how this will look but because um, the like cup size you can see is it's definitely bigger than just nothing, nothing flat. But it comes with a cute pair of little underwear. The colors are like purple and pink. So there's the matching underwear. And then the um, kind of kimono looking wrap top. And then a matching um, obi belt. Just pink and purple. There's no designs here, just the two different um, solid colors. I do think that definitely is for. Um, Obitsu sized. Um, whether this fits or looks decent or not, we'll have to see how that ends up fitting on my um, AP Ellie doll. So that's pretty nice. So, like I was saying, the items were, it was mostly just single items so like that. It was a single item as a one sale, but it had four pieces with it, so it's just like a full outfit. Um, and here, let's see. Sometimes um, on their listings, it's a little hard to see exactly what all is included. And they do give a description. Um, and you can, uh, the website is in Japanese, but you can just use Google Translate to translate the pages. And you get a decent um, idea of what's going on. Okay, I think I'm going to have to use my scissors to get this bag because I think they kind of sealed it up um, with tape and uh, closure. So. I can get this open here. Okay, so I have like one package. I have probably like one outfit with multiple pieces. Um, a second outfit with multiple pieces. Um, I don't remember what this is. So one little individual item. Another outfit, another outfit, and another outfit. So one, two, three, four, five outfits and like an individual piece. So let me just go through these um, outfits. So I'm just going to say price-wise, I think that their prices are very fair. Um, items that are older or maybe not in perfect condition, they definitely sell at a, a decent price. Um, and then, you know, newer items or full set dolls or whatever, they sell, I think, at fair prices. There's no, I don't feel like they price gouge on their site at all. So that's why I decided to go directly with them. Um, just to save myself a little bit of the fees and service fees from Bai.jp. I love Bai. I've bought many, many, many times from them. Um, but I just decided to, again, go directly with Dolly Terry. Um, 
because I, I figured I could save myself the shipping fees from them to Bai and Bai to me, plus the service fees that Bai offers, although currently they're offering a uh, free service fee like a couple of weeks, so you know all I would have to pay would be shipping, but then I can avoid that dual shipping fee. So anyway, without further ado, sorry. Um, here's the first outfit. This is definitely Obitsu 50. You have these big long bell sleeves and um, this kind of wrap with a tie. Uh, this is definitely like, to me it feels like Chinese look. Like I think of like um, Mei Ling from Cardcaptor Sakura, if you're familiar with that character. Um, there is these lovely red kind of like, I can only think of them as like balloon pants because they have those wide um, legs and um, it has a snap closure, but the front has, no, it's not stretchy, it's just gathered there, so there's like a gathering of fabric, but it, it doesn't stretch, so hopefully this is the right size for my AP Ellie. The back, okay, it snaps, it unsnaps quite deeply down, but I see along the back here, um, the stitching is coming a little loose, but um, I'm not terribly concerned about that. And I'll, I could try to like pull the stitch. Uh oh, if I keep pulling, it's gonna come loose. So better leave that alone. <laughs> we'll figure that out. So the top, the outfit is like this. Actually, I think this is really cute. Seeing this in person, um, the white top and the balloon pants. And then there is a um, like cape thing or like a shoulder thing. It has these two little like red like leather little patches here and then the whole thing has like wire around the edge so you can kind of shape it how you want and it stays I think the way they displayed it um, it was kind of like over the shoulders and around the neck of uh, the top here so it would be something like this uh, my husband was trying to distract me the uh, little amulet here on this side is loose from its stitching so this was definitely like a second hand outfit and there is some loose stitching going on here I'm no seamstress but I can sew like basic stitches to help stuff from falling apart so hopefully I can save those pants and fix that little shoulder um, piece let's see what's in this package this might be another thing that I thought would work for my nundroids because I want to get into phot photographing them as well Oh, nope, I take it back. This is not an android. This is a pair of eyes for dolls, <laughs> not an android. Um, I am not the best at measuring eyes or knowing what size eyes my dolls need, but I've been purchasing a few blank dolls lately and needing eyes. So these eyes just really caught my eye. Haha, <laughs> eyes caught my eye. Um, here they are in the pack. So they were inside their own um, bubble wrap and they're in this envelope and they have um, a lid or it's like a little canister but I don't know if there's a lid or not. So just to show you guys this in the package. So look at these cool eyes. Do you see that? They have gears inside. That's so cool. That would be perfect for like a robot doll. I don't have a robot doll. Wait, I take it back. I do. The um, doll zone. G0, which I haven't even opened yet, you guys. I feel so terrible about that. I don't know why I've been putting that off. Um, I just haven't had a, a moment to do it where I have space and time. I'm doing this video right now, um, but hopefully I'll get a chance here soon to do these other eyes. So these, to me, look handmade, but handmade well. They're really cool. The uh, whites of the eyes kind of have glitter mixed in. And then the pupils are like a bluish glitter background with these little pieces of gold like confetti gears um, looking. So there is this little case and it has this cute little cotton to sit the eyes on and a closure, but there's no maker. So if anybody knows who these eyes are made by, comment please because they're really beautiful and I'd love to give credit to these artists. Let me just show you these individual eyes. So if you can see the light catching it, the whites are glittery and then you can see those little gear pieces in there. I would say these are probably 24, size 24. 
They're not exact same gear pieces, so it gives you a little bit different look. I just, they're really cool. I have one other eye like this, like one eye that I bought as like a, a one eye, and uh, I don't know why, they just interest me. Hopefully I'll find a doll that will work well with those. These would not fit, I don't think, in the G0. Um, that's like a one fourth size doll, and the head is really small, it doesn't have big anime eyes like my smart dolls or selfie dreams or whatever, so probably I'll have to make one of my um, blank smart doll heads into a robot maybe. And Doll Angel recently did a, fan a couple of fantastic robots, so maybe I can hit her up for a robot doll. Um, Alright, another outfit, oh, let me set this aside. This is Obitsu 50 as well, so 50 centimeter dolls, uh, that kind of like you know, what would it be considered between one-fourth and one-third uh, for a doll? Because one-sixth is smaller, right, than one-fourth. Um, here's one. This one has another little bit of a loose string. Maybe I can just turn that off. I don't know what it's for, but I don't need it. don't need a loose string. So this is just a simple white... Um, cotton dress and it has like um, sleeves that kind of fall down off the shoulder with shoulder straps and it just has a simple snap closure but the bodice is nice and stretchy and it has that cute um, lace look to it. Another nice um, dress for spring or whatever. I actually want um, an outfit like this for my smart dolls because I have an idea for just a photo shoot that I want to do, just with like a very simple white dress. It did come with a little um, petticoat for underneath, just to kind of fluff up that uh, lower, the lower half of the dress. Let's see if I can get this in there to give it the look. So you get a nice fitted bodice with like the stretchiness, and then kind of like a little bit of a poofed up skirt. Very nice, very simple. I like that. I wish that I knew, like, if I could give credit to, you know, artists out there who handmade these lovely things. Um, some of these are probably company items. Um, I don't think any of the ones, well, I don't know if any of the ones so far were company things. Maybe those eyes, I have no idea. Um, I think this is another um, Obitsu sized outfit. This may be company made. I don't know. Cute little um, red. Uh, it looks very orange there but on my screen, but they're definitely red. Um, and they're, I would say, red and black uh, stripes, although it almost looks navy. And I don't know why that is appearing so orange on my screen. Maybe it won't be so orange when people watch it, but they're really red. Um, it comes with this uh, red and black tank top, very simple, a cute little plaid dress, there, or a skirt, like pleated skirt, it has a velcro closure, there is no tag in here so I don't know if this is company made or not, but this is like, and then this really cute um, hoodie with the red piping, um, just a zipper opening. Yeah, I don't see any tags, so again, I'll go and post the descriptions that Dolly Terria had, um, but that's a, what, one, two, three, four, five piece outfit, and, um, you know, it's just sold all as one thing, and it's really adorable. I, I can't really remember the prices of these, but, you know, some of the, one of these outfits, this next one I'm going to open, was pretty expensive, but most of the rest of them were probably you know, in the 30 to $40 range. Some of them maybe less even, like that little microphone was like seven bucks or something, maybe five bucks, I don't know. Um, but I really like this, I'm excited to put it on and see how it looks on her, on my uh, Angel Celia girl. All those things are for her, I think. Um, all right, so this um, is, I believe, a one-third size outfit. And I really tried to double check to make sure it wasn't, um, Actually, this might be Angel Philia too, because I got two kind of like of those shrine maiden or priestess outfits. Um, 
One was one third, and one might have been a bit so both, or they might have been both one third. I don't know. I'm gonna open up and then we'll see how it looks size wise compared to my smart dollar. So, oh yeah, I would definitely say this is one third. So, they have this big long sleeves and they have cute little bells on the end there, you can see, and here. And then the top has this really pretty like floral pinning and like this kind of friendship bracelet looking tie. It's really cool, actually. And then of course that classic red and white shrine maiden look, and it's like, you can see it's not a full wrap like you would see for most shrine maidens, so it's kind of like, it'll show their belly or whatever. Um, I am super excited to try this on a doll. It's gonna look so good. All right, even the top. Imagine just wearing this top with like a pair of jeans. Oh, that's gonna look so cute. Or like, maybe even with this white skirt. Oh my God, that's gonna be adorable. That's fantastic. Um, then of course there is a huge, uh, well, let's see. Okay, so it's like in panels and it's a tie around. I'm not, I don't quite get the panels and you can feel the outer edges have like wiring in them so you can kind of make the skirt flow how you want not totally getting um, the purpose of the panels other than for photography reasons I don't know but it's nice I really appreciate people who put the effort into doing the um, wiring in clothing to allow for that kind of um, kind of styling of an outfit so if you don't have the skills to do um, Photoshop magic you can at least do a little bit of effort into um, displaying the, the clothing how you want by adding that uh, um, movement of the fabric through Posing the clothing basically so it, to me it's like there are there are three panels here um, and I don't know I don't know if there would be a specific front or back to me I feel like the tie would go in the front I don't know one of the panels is bigger than the other two so maybe the two panels go in front Oh yeah, to make it look more pant-like, right? Because sometimes the pants, these big pieces are like in pants. So like there'd be like a one leg, two leg, and then the back would be a, a wider solid piece. I don't know, I'll have to figure that out. But that's, that was two pieces for that outfit. And it is fantastic. I'm super excited to try that on the doll. I'm gonna have to like get all these um, outfits. Although of course I only have the one that's 50 centimeters. So she'll have to have like a, um, I don't know, a doll, uh, uh, fashion show with just herself. But this, I think, is, appears to also be 50 centimeter dot size. It's smaller. It's another shrine, kind of looking thing. Um, but it came, like, with all kinds of accessories. Um, shoes, fan, you can see ears and a tail in here. So I really, um, kind of spoiled my Angel Filio girl because she's the only one who would be able to wear this. Maybe some of the other dolls might be able to fit some of the pieces but not the full outfits. So we have this really darling little fan here. It has like a little ribbon here and then you can see it has like flames and like a design on the fan and on the back is solid purple. I don't think you could close this. It looks like somebody um, like glued it that way so it's solid, right? There is a, oh, <laughs> um, the, the tail is part of the underwear. So you have to tie the underwear on and then it holds, the underwear holds the tail up. It's like sewn on, I think. Yeah. So we have ears, ears, <laughs> and this gray and white fluffy tail attached to a pair of tie-on underwear. Um, some really fantastic 
Gaeta sandals. Um, they, so this is, a, this is an official, um, I would say, company outfits by A-Zone, because it says A-Zone on the bottom of these shoes. So black, like plastic, but it's kind of shiny, so it looks like lacquer, right? Like lacquered wood. And then purple, um, like flip-flop tongs. And they have L and R for, light and right, for left and right foot. Um, this really cute little skirt with that little flower tie. Um, another purple and white and red. Uh, and a outfit there. We have stockings with the nice little um, purple ribbon trim at the top. And then a shorter style skirt. Um, it is purple. Here it looks navy. That's very purple. So this would be a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten piece outfit. All sold as one. Um, so it's basically like the um, half kimono, I don't know, top piece, wrap piece, the um, skirt, and then the over wrap skirt to go on top, um, and then the undergarment with the tail, and ears, socks, and the shoes and fan accessory. I'm wondering how the tail is supposed to come through. It must just lift the skirt up and back. Um, that is pretty cool, all those little accessories that come with this outfit. I'm going to guess that this outfit was a little bit more, um, just because of how many pieces were included in it. But it's all here, and it's all in excellent condition. I know um, Valley Terrier is like a second-hand seller, but I'm guessing that they probably get um, a lot of items from sellers. Uh, who come in and trade or sell to them. And I would guess many of the items were new or never used as so many things in our dog collections happen to go. We get them and we have great plans for them and then we never get a chance to use them and we realize we don't really need them. But hopefully I will try very hard to get my dolls into these outfits at least once to take some pictures because they're fantastic. Um, all right, so one last package, which I'm thinking there's maybe one or two things in here. Let's see. Um, also nicely uh, bubble wrapped in and of itself. And not talking negatively about uh, Bai because as I said, I have purchased from them many, many times. I have been very appreciative of all of their services. Um, but after realizing that I was buying a lot of stuff directly or from the same seller over and over again, Dolly Terrier, um, I just decided to go with Dolly Terrier Direct. But Dai, for example, besides their service fee of using their site as a proxy to purchase things, which is it's super minimal fee, it's like three bucks. Um, but three bucks per item adds up. Um, and then when you get all of your things together, they offer two different types of packing services. They'll pack one as just the boxes as they came from the people you bought them from or they will um, add protective packaging um, for an additional fee. Um, I don't usually typically use that um, protective packaging because um, they usually just do protective packaging anyway. It's like a ten dollar fee so it's not very much but um, the only time that I've ever specifically gone for it and asked to have it is when I've gotten like a full like resin doll. Alright, so there was just, it looks like two items in here. Um, this is a doll um, background piece, which I thought that this was one of the items. So there was two items that I like tried to purchase from um, Dolly Terria that they ended up not having available, like they sold before they were able to pull them for me, because of course they sell on multiple websites, and I thought this was one of them, it's like a fabric background. This will be my second one that I have like this, 
and um, I think this is meant for smaller sized dolls, but it actually looks pretty large. I don't know. Oh, it's, oh no, I don't think it's double sided. Oh, it is double sided. No, it's not. No, it's printed so that you can almost kind of see it through the other side. So this is kind of cool. Um, yeah, it's not double sided. So this, I thought this was for smaller dolls because I thought it said like 50 centimeter. But as you can see, it's just kind of like a floral top with like flowers and butterflies. And then the whole background is um, like wood plank. So I feel like it kind of is like this where you could, like this would be the bending point. So you have actually a lot of floor space there per se. Maybe that's why it's considered 50 centimeter. I don't know, you could probably stand it up. No, because there's a definite line there. I would have to like um, iron this so that these creases are out of here, but um, you can see there's a line post. So it's like, here's the upright fence, and then it's against like these wood planks here. So let's just see how this looks. I know my lighting is not the best here. But there you go, and then you have this nice backdrop to uh, take a picture of your doll on. This was like, this backdrop thing was like, I don't know, eight bucks maybe? It's very large. I thought it was um, smaller, but maybe the reasoning for that again is because of where the fold is, but it still works for larger dolls, I think. That's pretty cool. And I thought this was one of the ones, one of the things that got canceled, but maybe there was a different um, backdrop that I tried to get and it wasn't available. So I went and searched for backdrops again and got this. Hint to anybody who wants this, this is kind of like a fabric um, that the image was printed on. When you go to store these, don't fold them, roll them, so when you get rid of those creases. Um, and the last thing is, appears to be another uh, shrine outfit, so I have, I had like two, well the, the A-Zone one was not specifically Shrine Maiden, but kind of had that design. And then the um, other one was definitely one-third size. And I think this is um, one-third size as well. And this one might, yes, this is Volks specifically. So I had two outfits that definitely were company-made, and they have the company tags. The rest of them could be handmade or I don't know what. But let's take a look at this. You know, I would say for Volks, it's actually not hard to get the outfits that they release when they are releasing them. You just have to kind of, you know, sign up for their emails. They'll send notices about when they're having um, sales of, of upcoming outfits. Um, so here's the Volks tag. You can see there, there's the um, VS for Volks. And this front piece um, is like a hook tank top. Or not tank top, like a tube top or corset almost because it has like that leather uh, tie in front. And then the fabric is this really lovely printed, uh, not printed, it's like sewn design. There is this huge, very heavy, um, very nice fabric uh, skirt. And on the inside is white with that toe stuff to make it kind of fluff. And it is a hook closure and a snap closure actually. So it opens up pretty wide. Um, I would guess that this was not necessarily designed for um, Dolphy Dream. Look at that, it's so heavy the fabric can stand up on its own. Um, it might be more like for their resin um, dolls, like the SD dolls. Um, I'll have to go back again and look at the description of this, but this one does have adjustable um, eyelets too for the hooks to hook through, so it potentially could fit different size dolls for the top. And then there is the cloak that goes around the top for the kimono top half, I don't know what else to refer to it as. Um, it's another really fantastic looking thing. So. 
this is actually a pretty cool outfit. Um, it's what, one, two, three, four pieces. Probably you could get some fantastic gates on to fit on top of it, or to, to go with it, and some stockings, but um, there's like this piece and like that black stripe there is like leather accent. I, I'm sure it's not real leather, it's probably the pleather stuff. And it has this like chain to go around it. And so this bustier thing would be like level, layered over it um, to give it that really lovely layered effect, right? Like like this. Let's see if I can get this through here. Volks really has some great pieces. Some of them fit on Smart Dolls, some of them do not. And while I do have some Volks girls, um, I don't really have any other resin dolls except for my um, Chi doll. And she's a, I believe she's SD13. Um, or no, F SD graffiti, so SDGR. And um, sometimes pieces fit her and sometimes they don't. So here is one little flaw with this outfit, which could I count it a flaw or could I just ignore it? It's missing one of its um, tassel pieces, it looks like, on the little top half here. So it has these fantastic long sleeves, um, and then this top piece, which would go like layered again over this somehow, right? Um, but as you can see there, it has those ties, and there's a nice little tassel here, but the, one, the tassel appears to be missing off of this one, because there is this little circle for it. I am not troubled by that. I could either try to find something similar to replace it, or I could just remove this one and it'd be fine. I don't, I'm not really too concerned with that. And then it has a nice little chain. So there's like Let's see, one, two, three, four pieces to this outfit. Um, it looks pretty cool. It has these nice leather out, um, accents, the ribbons. Um, I think it's gonna be pretty cool looking. Um, so I'm excited about that. So they that's all the um, clothes that I got. I, I don't even know how many was that, like seven or eight pieces, nine maybe. And then those three dolls I'll do separate videos for. Um, all together, all told, this um, package came up to a pretty, pretty high amount. <laughs> but I still, I feel like everything that I purchased, I got for very um, decent prices. Nothing, I didn't feel like anything was price gouged. The Cheryl Gnome, um, it's a full set as far as I can tell, and I've seen that full set go upwards of a thousand. I think I got her for like five fifty, um, so I think it's really excellent secondhand condition. Whatever the case may be, none of the dolls were crazy expensive. The Dear Mine was a limited edition one, very excellently priced. I'm super excited about that. Um, she was kind of like uh, a doll that I saw and discovered after I discovered Dear Mine after I got my first Dear Mine, also from Dolly Terria. Um, a few years ago now um, and I went to go look at Dear Mind just as a doll uh, and I found this other doll I'm, I'm super, I'll talk about it in that video I'm not going <laughs> to delay this video but it's going on like 50 minutes so thank you so much for watching I really hope to get my dolls into some of these fantastic outfits um, overall I'm going to say my satisfaction with um, Dolly Terrier slash Closet Child is 100% satisfied. They packed everything beautifully, excellent communication, excellent pricing, and just endless amounts of choices for dolls. Um, I haven't totally um, learned to navigate their website um, with ease yet because you do have to use the Google Translate um, if you don't read or speak Japanese. Um, but everything is quality that I received. You know, this one happened to be missing a little part. It was priced accurately to reflect that. Um, they, they do their best to give as many pictures as they can. They do excellent um, descriptions and everything is fairly priced and everything is packaged well. Excellent um, communication and I'm excited that I finally um, shopped directly with them and signed up. 
to use their um, website. So thank you so much for watching this really long video. And again, I hope to get um, my dolls into some of these fantastic, fantastic outfits so that I can see how they look um, after doing a really fun shopping with them. So I'm going to pause this video or stop it and do these other box openings. Hopefully I'll get these all posted up today. Um, again, thank you guys so, so much for watching. Please comment with your thoughts on Dolly Terrier or any of these outfits if you know who the makers are, if you recognize them for the clothing or um, those eyes. All I know so far is, is this one Volks one and then that one A-Zone one. So thank you guys so much for watching. Have a great day.